Welcome back to Crazy Bill's Garage. And today, it is, what is it? Use Filter Friday. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Uh, use filters. Uh, you know, it's winter here, so I'm going to be going through a lot of used filters through this winter. And hopefully, you don't get tired of me opening up these. But I always keep them, you know, try to keep it interesting. Today, we have filters that are all about the same size. Four of them. We got a Parts Master. We got a Mobile One. We got a Motorcraft. Motorcraft. And we have a Motor Master OE Plus. So all of these are about the same size. So I picked them out of the old barrel. And I was gonna give them a look to see how good they have lasted. I don't know where they came from. I don't know who used them. And I don't know how much mileage is on them, but we're going to take a look at them. So, the first one is going to be the Parts Master. So, let's flip her over. And what Parts Master is this? Uh, 61516. Uh, you know, distributed by Aftermarket Auto Parts. And I'm taking a look at it here. You'd think that this was a, uh, by just the way it looks, is a champion-made filter. It kind of looked that way. And, uh, yeah, I think it is a champion. And I dropped that. Fingers aren't working as well. Underneath the uh, base plate here, see, you know, this is an interesting thing. This thing's got uh, six little holes around here. And yet it's got the main holes around here. It's, it's kind of an interesting little doodad for this filter. Not to, it's, it's interesting. Uh, we got a rubber. Oh, she's in there. Yeah, we got a rubber uh, any drain back. It's well used. It's very stiff. Very, oh, very hard. So yeah, I got a feeling this filter was in there for a while. And hey, we got uh, felt tops. Believe me, these are not paper or fiberboard. These are felt tops. So, you know, they're not nearly as bad as the paper ones. But And uh, as you can probably see in there, we have a E-Core. So yeah, this is probably made by Champ Labs. Not too bad. And a little bit of dirt down in there, not too bad, though I must say. Uh, yeah, it's actually quite clean. Doesn't look like there was synthetic oil use. This doesn't feel like synthetic oil. But uh, the filter looks half decent, I gotta say. Um, let me cut off this, uh, what do you call it? Filtration. Actually, the filtration feels really good. Has the, it actually feels like it's got some life left to it, so. Hmm, that's not bad at all. So. Hmm. I haven't cut a finger off yet, so. I don't plan on it either. Yeah, it looks pretty good. There's the E-Core. Gotta love those E-Cores. I hope they make more filters out of those E-Cores. I like those. A uh, bit of sparklies in here, but nothing too bad. Terrible. Um, held together with glue. Actually quite tight. But uh, let's look on the inside here. Nothing looks like it got through. This is actually... Uh, Pretty thick, really nice uh, filtration for these uh, Parts Master ones. I, I believe we saw Parts Master ones that were made by Fram last week. Now we got this one that's made by, uh, looks like Champ Labs. And the next one will be this preciously awesome uh, Mobile One, an M1-212. So let's take a look at it. Um, this has got a tint of probably using uh, synthetic oil. So, this is definitely feels like synthetic oil. 
Eh, my little filters are pretty good. They're not, they're not terrible. But the uh, big difference, though this does not feel as flexible as, as a uh, new silicone would. Whoa, she's coming apart. So I got a feeling this was in here a while. Got a bunch of junk down in there. Nothing too terrible though. So, uh, let's see. Uh, as usual, there's a piece of, of, uh, yeah. That's a piece of the glue caught in the filtration, which is good. It got caught, right? Didn't go right through. Oh, this one's got a bypass. Hmm. And today, I have my flashlight. So I'm going to shine the flashlight through there and we'll see if we can see anything. Not usually on uh, one of these type filters. Usually you see it on uh, cheaper made filters. But we're going to try this flashlight through here and try to see if we can see anything through here. Mm. It is going, so... You can't see anything through there, so she is sealed up there pretty darn good. I want to know though, is it uh, working or not working? It's working, so it does work. And does this end come off too? No, that end seems like he's going to be stuck on. But yeah, it does seem like this was in for a while. Uh, the glue here yeah, keeps her from uh, leaking, so hey, that's a good thing. And yet again, this doesn't feel terrible to cut up, you know. It's not too terrible. The glue is a little weak looking there. But this, uh, I don't think this was on for a while. So... Better all the way around. Here we go with the lover or louver. And uh, they, I don't know, they all look like, you know, they're opened up. Some people say they don't, they find some of these where the lovers look like they're closed on lover filters. Well, let's see what we got here. More glue right there, if you can see it, caught in there. More glue, more crap. Oh, we got a lot of crap in here. Yeah, this that's very gritty. More glue caught, oh my word. Glue or, or silicone or something from engine. Yeah, that's, might be glue or silicone from the engine, not sure. But, you know what? You caught it. Nothing got through it looks like. Looks pretty good. Yeah, that's good. I'm kind of glad about that one. <sighs> Pay all that money for that filter for it to let stuff through. That wouldn't be a very nice thing, would it? And here we go with the Motor, Ma motor Master? No, it's the Motorcraft Ella FL-400S. Let's see what we got. <sighs> we got very dirty inside the uh, the base here. It's not very clean. Mm, not good. Um, this silicone feels a lot better than that last one from the mobile one. And here we are, and we got lots of burnt particles down there. Burnt particles and oil. So it doesn't look too good but let's see how the filter did so this filter doesn't have a bypass oh what am i talking about silly me that's your bypass right there wow how soon i forget when i'm looking at a filter i like these bypasses by the way um this thing feels pretty heavy like i'm sure i get all the oil out of it yeah, I did. Let's take a look at her here. Uh, it's just held by uh, glue, I'm guessing, or sonic welded. I'm not sure. I don't see anything in this filter yet. Uh, this one still feels pretty good, by the way, just like the rest of them. 
uh, they're not soft. Like, we look at uh, cheaper filters, and they're very, very, very soft from the get-go when you're cutting them. And this one, not too bad. holy tube got holes in the tube so it does look like the filter has swollen up a bit so maybe this one did swell a bit maybe it was in there a little too long and she is swollen up it looks like it pretty well uh, swelled up all the all the pleats so hmm, great you can also see on this one that they, it appears to be pretty swollen a lot of uh, grime and crap on here like wow <laughs> this filter was really doing its job i gotta tell you oh this is heavy oh here we go that's why here we go she is full of carbon and dirt and metal wow this one may have been in there a little too long <laughs> uh yeah this one is this one definitely did its job and uh, trying to keep everything from going around in the engine. The inside, much better looking, much better. Doesn't look like anything made it through, so that's good to see. And the last one is going to be the OE Plus Motormaster, uh, equivalent to a MOPH10575. So, there we go. Ah, and uh, there we go with the base, and it looks pretty dirty. It got a lot of burntness to it, and that's not looking good so far. But it does have oh, the silicone one. This is the best one I've, that there was today. I do believe that Champ Labs may make these. They also make the Champ XL, which I believe these are the Champ XLs. So you know. But inside the cup, relatively clean for a few spots and a little bit of something down there. It looks like glue or something. And uh, this one, oh, we got a bypass. So, I don't think we're going to be able to see any light through there. No. There's no light through there. You can see the light here shining on it there's nothing getting through so that's very good so that sealed up pretty good very nice uh, let's take a quick look at it here uh, she's pretty grimy on the outside like it still has its form it still looks good not one of these filters today in the these higher end filters here well, i'm not Counting the parts master is a high-end filter, but it's got good qualities. Has had any metal strip to hold the, uh, you know, the filter, uh, the two ends of the filter together, the filter, um, the filtration uh, together. It's always been like glued or sonic welded. So, yes, this one still does feel pretty good, really, it still feels good itself. So, there we go, yeah, they use that technology in this one too, with the uh, louvers, which, you know, I can't stand, I don't like them, but they're just... Don't look like there's any messed up on here. I can see light all the way through pretty well, all of them. So, yeah, it looks like it works, but I just don't like that free flow. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have that free flow of oil to go through it. In my opinion, I, I probably wrong, it's probably just fine. And this one is swollen up too. So, yeah. 
She looks pretty swollen up. So now let's take a look at her. And there's lots of metal and stuff in this one too. My word. Glue particles and oh, that's pretty, pretty sparkly. Hopefully you can see that on camera. Wow, got really sparkly on this side. And a lot of carbon. Wow, where did these come from? So, we got so much on this end here. Like you can see it built up in the corners here. Wow, hmm. poor cars. <laughs> People, please change your oil filter sooner than you do. Even though they're doing their job, your engine has got all that stuff in it. And this is the inside, and it looks fine. But don't you think of all those particles being built up, of whatever's in there is actually hampering oil from filtering through? Yeah, I think it is. But who am I? I'm just a guy that cuts oil filters open and likes to do oil changes and stuff. But there we go. I got through the four. They're all relatively look good. They all did a good job. I'm not surprised that uh, some of them looked worse than others, but relatively, it uh, all went pretty good. Um, would I use any of these? Oh yeah, I have used every one of these type. Mobile One, Parts Master, Motorcraft, and of course I've used quite a few of Motor uh, Master, Motor Master OE Plus. I just like their build quality, and they're cheaper to buy than actually Champ XLs. So, you know, for me in Canada, and they're regularly at my Canadian Tire. So, uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, tune in on Monday. I'm trying to acquire uh, Napa Gold. I heard they changed, but I haven't been able to get over to my regular Napa and be able to pick up a filter. And I'll try to get like the equivalent of a 3614 because that seems to be a filter that they run through a lot. So possibly I'd be getting a newer type, which would be very nice if uh, that came in. So I'm trying for a nap of gold for Monday. If I don't, well, I got other stuff I can show you. But thanks for watching. Um, keep tuning in.